All right, so today I want to talk about something important. How do I boost my hormones? A lot of times people are always ask me, how do I boost my testosterone? And I try to explain to people, it's more than just your testosterone. It's your whole hormonal panel you have to worry about. So people think men testosterone, females estrogen. It's a lot more complicated than that. But I'm going to break it down and show you guys how I achieve this goal. Let's discuss it. <laughs> Boosting my hormones. All right, a lot of times people would tell you vitamin C, 2,000 milligram of vitamin C. Yeah, that will raise your testosterone level. Vitamin E would raise your testosterone level. Vitamin D3, yeah, it would also raise your testosterone level. That is true. But it's not really a raise, it's a spike and then a crash, just like a soda. What you need to do is find something that's going to actually raise it up and keep it up there long term instead of a spike and the next day it's flat again. So how do you do that? The precursor to build up your hormone is cholesterol. Now, people are going to tell you there's good cholesterol and there's bad cholesterol. That is true. But the precursor is cholesterol. Now, how does cholesterol actually raise your hormones? It's called pregnenolone. Pregnenolone is found in meat and eggs. So if you're a vegetarian, and also butter. So if you're a vegetarian, chances are you need to start supplementing with it. Um, also, to increase your pregnenolone level, you can take sea salt, not just regular salt. Vitamin D actually does help increase your pregnenolone level. And that is why people always say um, vitamin D would raise your testosterone because pregnenolone is one of the things that it actually does. It actually does raise your testosterone. So it's good for your testosterone, your DHEA, which I will come back to in a minute because this is more important to me than pregnenolone by itself. It also increases your progesterone, your estrogen, and your cortisol, your stress levels. It's good for everything. But one thing I want to discuss, I don't think none of this, to be honest with you guys, I don't want to talk about none of this. This is not, no, let me just, let's, let's be real, okay? Let, let's be real. Let's, let's just be real for a second. The only thing I want to talk about, this is the only thing I want to talk about. HEA is the mother of all hormones. It is banned in the NFL, it's, it's banned in the NBA, and it's also banned in the Olympics. And make some changes here. It's also banned in the Olympics, so yes, it is the mother of all hormones. It's not illegal in America, but it is illegal. Well, in Canada, you have to get a prescription, but it is the precursor to making testosterone and to control your hormones, even on the female. Females have more benefit from taking DHEA than males. Females could take up to 50 milligrams and have zero side effects. When you go over to like 75 milligrams and 100 milligrams, just like anything else, you will have side effects. But it is the mother of all hormones, but it is illegal certain places in the world. So your optimal level for a female, 280 to 320 is where females want to be. And for a man, his optimal range needs to be right around 320 to about four, I'm sorry, 380 to about 420. Um, so what I try to do is I try to combine both of them together. Pregnenolone make you drowsy. Um, and remember, all of these are precursors. So even if you're not going this route, make sure you're eating enough meat, um, whole meat, and make sure you're eating the right type of eggs to boost your levels the right way. But pregnenolone, I take 10 milligrams. I don't take a lot. So it's not, you know, I have zero side effects because this will also raise your estrogen levels. But you have to be right around 75 
milligrams before it converts into estrogen. So I only take 10 every night before I go to bed so I can reap the benefits. Now, because I'm only taking 10 milligrams, it doesn't give me enough DHEA levels to continue throughout my day. DHEA also is good for that youthful appearance, tightening up of the skin. It's not those outer vitamins that temporarily tighten it up. It's the DHEA. It's the mother of all hormones. It's really good for female menstrual cycles, more beneficial to a female than it is for a man. You know, a lot of people take 50 milligrams. It's a safe route. You could take 50 milligrams for the next 30 years and have zero side effects. It's just like everything else though. When you start going over that 75 milligrams and 100 milligrams, that's when you notice the side effects. But what I choose to do, I only take one pill every day. And my pregnenolone I take at night because it makes me drowsy. But this is the best way to boost your whole hormonal system instead of just worrying about my testosterone or trying to lower my estrogen level. Take something that's gonna do everything all together. But the precursor is cholesterol. Do not be afraid of cholesterol. See you guys on the next one.